Have you ever wondered why there are so many different kinds of flowers? If you gathered a blossom from each species of flowering plant, you would have a 300,000 flower bouquet. When you get right down to it, flowering plants are so ubiquitous that it's hard to imagine a world without them. And yet they are the new kids on the block when it comes to plant evolution. For hundreds of millions of years, much that was green and leafy grew, but nothing bloomed, at least not in a strictly floral sense. Today, flowering plant species outnumber 20 to 1 the ferns and cone-bearing trees that thrived for 200 million years before the first blossom. Now, 90% of all land plant species are flowering plants. The rise to ecological dominance has been swift, having occurred in just the last 150 million years. For Charles Darwin, the sudden explosion of flowering plants was a serious head-scratcher. In a letter to his friend, botanist Joseph Hooker, Darwin wrote, The rapid development, as far as we can judge, of all the higher plants within recent geological times is an abominable mystery. DNA analysis has only confirmed this impression of Darwin's. All five major plant lineages present today may have evolved in as few as five million years. In evolutionary terms, this is a blistering rate of diversification. Biologists would still like to know what prompted this big bang in flowering plant evolution. One place they are looking for answers is at the Atlanta Botanical Garden. The garden has beautiful collections, but underneath the surface, underneath the beauty of the plants that we're surrounded with here in the Botanical Garden, is real science, very important science that's happening. One of the most important collaborations we have right now is the Umbrella Genome Project, where we are growing material that can be used directly for research and directly applied for research. The plant that conservatory director Ron Dieterman is holding is Umbrella trichopoda. He and his team of horticulturalists have been very successful in propagating Umbrella a plant that has a pivotal place in flowering plant evolution. Researchers with the Amberella Genome Sequencing Project have been using the plants grown at the Atlanta Botanical Garden to sequence Amberella trichopoda's genome. Uh, a principal yes. investigator on the Amberella Genome Sequencing Project is University of Georgia biology professor Jim Liebensmack. The thing that's really interesting about uh, Amberella is that it uh, seems to have diverged from the rest of the flowering plant species very early in the history of flowering plants. So if we look at a family tree for all flowering plants, the deepest branching point on that tree it seems to be between Amborella, a branch lead Amborella, the sole species that now only lives in New Caledonia, and a branch leading to the, the great diversity of of over 300,000 other species of flowering plants. Um, but one of the things that we're, uh, that we're, has been very valuable to uh, our project working in Umbrella is uh, the access that we've had to uh, the living collection of Umbrella plants like these that we see here at the Atlanta Botanic Gardens. Uh, it really saves us a lot of money having to go back, uh, have, have to, have to uh, uh, travel to New Caledonia to get access to these plants. Uh, this way I just have to drive down from Athens to Atlanta to get access to these plants. New Caledonia is an island chain in the Pacific Ocean, located about halfway between Australia and Fiji. Not an easy place to get to whenever you need a cutting of Amberella. What our collections represent is potential. We do know that we've only begun to explore a small percentage of plant of the questions surrounding plant biodiversity in the world. Most species are data deficient. We have a lot to learn. And that is certainly true for scientific collections in the botanical garden, where we don't even know what the next important question is going to be. We, we may be growing something in our greenhouses that hold the answer to a significant issue that we will be facing in the future.